Okay everybody, today we're going to take a look at cell division in eukaryotic cells and this particular type of cell division is called mitosis because it is the replication of eukaryotic cells that are called somatic cells or body cells. The goal of this type of cell division is to produce somatic cells that are exactly the same as the cells that you start out with. So using our vocabulary, we say that the daughter cells that are produced are genetically identical to the parent cell that you started with. And in our cells, as humans, we would have 46 chromosomes or pieces of DNA, uh, 23 from each parent. In this particular example, we we're looking at a cell that has six chromosomes and we have three sets of DNA, one set from each parent. So the different colors represent chromosomes from different parents. So if this is a cell that's getting the signal to divide, the first thing that's going to happen is that that cell is going to go through the S phase of interphase and make a copy of every one of its chromosomes. So what we're doing here is replicating DNA with DNA polymerase and all of that stuff that we talked about in um, the beginning of this unit. So we have every chromosome making a copy of itself. And those copies will stay stuck together by something called a centromere. Uh, and they form these little X shapes here. So each of those X's represents a chromosome and its identical copy uh, connected by a centromere. As we go through interphase, these chromosomes are gonna become more visible and shorter and fatter, so we can see them with a light microscope. The nuclear membrane is gonna to start to dissolve and spindle fibers are going to start to form to assist in cell division. And at this stage, we have a cell that would transition from the G2 phase of interphase into the um, first part of mitosis called prophase. Um, as we move from prophase to the next stage, or the next phase of mitosis, the chromosomes are gonna migrate down along the midline of the cell and produce a straight line of chromosomes down the midline of the cell all the way down. And they, they go off of my mat a little bit here. All right, that would be what we call metaphase uh, where the chromosomes are lined up along the midline of the cell. Spindle fibers will be attached to each of these chromatids down along um, the midline of the cell in preparation to move each of these chromatids away from one another during the next stage of mitosis, which is called anaphase. So in anaphase, what we have happening is that the chromatids are going to separate from one another. And they're gonna do this all at the same time all right, I'm just doing it because I'm limited by my hands uh, the way that I'm doing it. But we're going to have those chromatids moving away from one another to opposite poles of the cells or opposite sides of the cell. And as they do that, they're going to start to reassociate themselves into a nucleus. Um, as that's happening, the entire cell is physically dividing into two separate cells. And once that happens, we say that we're in telophase of mitosis. As that's happening, new nuclear membranes are forming around each of these two new nuclei. The, the chromosomes are starting to unravel and become chromatin again. And there's a cleavage furrow or a mitotic plate that will divide these cells into two separate cells. That instant that they divide into two separate cells is called cytokinesis. And we end up with two cells that are exactly the same as what we started out with two of the long chromosomes, two of the medium-sized chromosomes, and two of the small chromosomes in each of our cells, one from each parent. So we've successfully met the goals of mitosis to produce two daughter cells that are exactly the same genetically as the original parent cell. Thanks for watching.